Hello, welcome to another episode of Technology Philosophy. Today I would like to talk about two of the biggest trends, the wireless Internet of Things and wearables, and how they're coming together. Specifically, Enterprise Internet of Things, Connected Product User Communities. A key hurdle point for any new technologies becoming truly mainstream is its adoption by the enterprise market. The new tech innovates its way into a variety of business applications geared to improve efficiency and save time and money. This is not just internally to the enterprise, but as a widespread feature of products and services offered. Some examples are the internet, email, video conferencing, IP telephony, virtual worlds, and wikis. One big shift is towards making all products connected, internet of things products. This means actually connected via sensors, not just a website to look up product information or customer service needs. This is revolutionary to businesses because immediately every product can be transformed from a one-off shelf purchase to an ongoing service that is part of the social community. Every product can be a relationship with the consumer. Connected products can phone home with continuous information about product usage and failure most ethically with customer opt-in. Product can be a service. Every product can be a service. Just like the ability to interact with content on websites and engage in social networking with other users became an expectation with web properties, product user communities have already been evolving to be more interactive with product websites, Facebook pages and likes, Twitter accounts, and sometimes fan fiction. Connected product user communities is the next step, and it could be huge. If the requisite infrastructure is in place, connected products could deploy quickly because of the more intimate relationship vendors perceive as attainable with consumers from the high-resolution continuous information exchange. Internet of Things ecology design is crucial. Internet of Things sensors must operate in concert with other communications networks, but their low power requirements could draw from the existing infrastructure of the user's wearable ecosystem, smartwatch, smartphone, wearable displays like glass, Wi-Fi cloud, smart home with the Nest, the Hive, the Tato, etc., automotive data networks, and other Internet of Things tracking infrastructure. They can all play, these systems will all be playing together to power share, memory share, and processing share. With Internet of Things sensors, the 10 to 1 ratio of person to connected devices could quickly exponentiate to 100 to 1 devices per person. The Internet of Things ecosystem requires an architecture that is quite different from what we are used to with the Internet, packet switching, redundancy, lookups, and TCP IP. A design is needed that can accommodate higher bursts of traffic from more input nodes data input from sensor clouds, a sensor landscape acting like a school of fish, for example, and more kinds and types of data transmission. The, ideally, the network will also power share, be massively distributed, and intercommunicate. Thank you.